this is the reason why a lot of women are focused on getting a bag so that they ain't never got to be vulnerable or leave themselves open for something like this happening to them. So for all these guys that ridicule women for wanting to be hustlers and for wanting to be independent and all that kind of stuff, just think about women like this when you make them comments you make. We all know that there's fragile men just like this, men that are wicked to the core that will do a woman just like this just because he want to be treated like a king without treating his woman like a queen. you make way <sighs> it's time to have this conversation i think it's a beautiful one to have so let's just get right to it shall we you too kid independent women this man said that women <laughs> this is the reason that women go out and become hustlers this is the reason women go out and become independent because they don't need a man. And the reason they do it is so that they never get kicked out of their own home. Here's the problem. You're using a situation that is not the majority and then saying why the majority is happening. Because the majority of women, black women, because you're using black people in this video that I showed earlier, black women... Uh, one in four of them will ever get married, right? <laughs> black women, we have the black, let's just say the black culture, 80% of our kids born out of wedlock. The majority of our women go for certain men. Black women always saying how they're getting to the bag, but never get married. But this guy, and we watch, I watched another one of his videos, talking about the red pill. And how they don't believe in God. In fact, I'm going to let it say I'm from his exact mouth. Okay? Because I don't want to get anything twisted here. So, let me show you. And we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> they don't even believe in God. The biggest names in Red Pill, they hop from religion to religion. They don't even know what they believe they self. They, they just doing what they feel like they got to do to prop themselves up as an authority so they can try to lead men, right? But they leading you straight to hell. 
if you don't pick up the Bible and learn to read it for yourself, learn to study it for yourself and understand what's on the pages, you're going to follow somebody right to hell. Because that's where a lot of these people probably are going to go if they don't repent and change their ways. By the way, repent don't mean just say, God, I'm sorry. That means you're supposed to turn away from the sin. Never do it no more. They don't even believe in It's simple. If you adopt biblical principles in your life and you find somebody that's equally invested in being righteous and living their lives the way God wants us to live, you have a way better chance at having a successful relationship, a successful marriage, a successful life, a peaceful life. It's not bondage and, and boredom over here in the Christianity in the Christianity world. <laughs> it's actually pretty lit. You know what I'm saying? You wake up every day, you content, you happy, you feel good, you blessed, you feel blessed. So what if it ain't no Lambo in the garage? I got a garage. It's simple. So what if there's no Lambo in the garage? I got a garage. I like it. I just wanted to give you a taste of this man, just so you can kind of feel what he's saying. Understand, feel where he's coming from. So when I say what I say, it's all good, baby. So let's talk about why women go out and hustle and all that. Here's the thing. Black women do that before they ever get in situations like that. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know I speak up for the blacks, but I'm going to also speak against when I see something that our culture is not doing right. Um, black women are get, becoming hustlers and getting to the bag far before anything like that ever happens in their life. So what you're actually teaching them is to be afraid of a black man kicking them out of their own home. And it, that, the, the every guy she goes to pick, he had the potential to be abusive and kick her out of the home. We don't know what the guy's side of the story was, but let's just say, let's say she's completely right. We'll give it all to her. Let's say she's completely right. She got kicked out because she asked him a question, pretty much. Right? She asked him the wrong question. I'm like, where is he? That is a bad precedence to set. You said Christian marriages are more successful. So, are they putting faith in themselves to for the marriage to work? Because that, <laughs> cause if these women are going to go out and get married, which most black women won't, but if these women go to go out to get married and they hear what you just said, and they decide to go for their career first and go get to the bag and become hustlers, you know what's so crazy? Before we move on past that, this this concept of go get the bag. You know, most people are going to make average money and they're going to most of their money or not most of their money, but some of their money is going to go to paying bills and they're going to live the average life, drive the average car and do the average things. So this concept of getting to the bag, you're, you're talking about as if women are going out in mass and making just massive amount of money when you know the women's averages are just average, right? Not making a whole lot, right? And I still think the average wage is still less than the average guy. So women are going out here and getting the bag and still making less because of obviously variables. Men tend to work overtime. Men tend to work more. Men tend to work different jobs, and they tend to work jobs that sometimes pay more, right? Then they go into jobs that are more risky, jobs that they'll probably get killed in, doing power lines, doing all kinds of stuff. So obviously there's going to be a difference in the money that's made. But this concept of, well, you know, which women got to go get to the bag because there's a chance my man could kick me out. It's the same. And then you talked earlier about how red pill guys, and I'm with you. I'm not for the red pill. But you talk about how the red pill guys are, you know, they don't have God and whatnot and blah, blah, blah. But if you are preaching that to women, you sound like a red pill for the women, right? Because what what is, what did the red pill teach the men? Don't get married <laughs> because the chances that if you get married, there's a good chance that she's going to want to take all your money. She's going to take half. She's going to screw you over. She's going to get pregnant. And then she's going to get, make you pay child support. It's the same scare tactic. You're using the same 
scare tactic for women. You're telling women pretty much, go out there, go get a career, go get your degree, go get your money, because there's a chance that the man will kick you out. What happens to women, especially black women who are career driven? <laughs> One in four black women will even marry at all. But more than likely, if they're career women, they're going to be even less likely to get married, right? So that just that one in four per turn into one in whatever. And they're not going to get married because they're so focused on, they're so scared that they may get kicked out of their house one day. They're not even going to focus on men. They're going to wait till they have a career, have money, and have all this stuff, which is crazy because it's like, what what, what amount of money are they going to make? They, they'll be making just enough money to survive off a single income like the majority of us. It's hard to survive off of one income. So what are you talking about? Get to this bag. But let's just take it as far as you want it. Okay, let's just say this is the most successful black woman. Well, we can't, she ain't going to be Oprah. But let's just take it. Let's just say this black girl goes and gets a degree. She makes sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year. Cool. Well, guess what? When women make that much, what kind of guy are they going to want? I don't fault them, but let's just be honest. If a woman's making seventy grand a month, I mean a year, what, what what does the guy have to make? He's probably gonna have to make around six figures. I mean, if she's making seventy grand, she's gonna make a guy. She's not gonna want a guy who makes what she makes. She's gonna make want a guy who makes more than she makes, right? Because if he makes less, she's gonna respect him less. And if he makes less, she's gonna tend to not go after him. So now she's gonna be going after the top percent guys. Now, do the top percent guys want a career driven woman? Listen, I got nothing wrong with my wife working. I'm not a high value guy. Okay, I'm just a regular old dude. I know I need two incomes to make this work. I ain't stupid, but let's say it's one of these guys who are making a, a good amount of money. Let's just say that is true. Are they going to want to get a woman who is career driven and is scared that if she doesn't work, that she's going to get kicked out of the house? Is that the woman that those guys are going to go for? Let's just be honest. Let's just use our logic. Let's not, we can't, we can't, we can't do this. Well, there's a chance. There's a possibility. Okay. But if the possibility is low, it's still low. So now she can't get a man because she's career driven, right? Because she's afraid she might get kicked out. So she became a hustler, got to the bag. Now she can't get a man because that guy is not going to want to date women who make that. A guy who a guy who makes enough money for two people, pretty much, he's going to want one of them more than likely to stay home, right? Because <laughs> I don't want to work 60 hours a week to come home to nothing, to come home to a house that's not clean or come to a house that's or come to a house that nothing's been done. Obviously, I can take care of myself. You know? And that, that's, the, the, that's the excuse always here. Oh, you got a wife, not a mama? Cool. Then I then I won't marry you. If I if you're not going to do any of that part, because you're also career-driven, such as myself, then <laughs> I'll do it myself. Then I'll have to come home and I'll, I'll wash my own dishes. I'll clean my own house. It's something that everybody has to do because you can't just live in a dirty house. Some people do it and they're disgusting, right? So what am I going to do? I'm going to, I guess I got to do this all myself. And because you know what's so crazy? This is, it's going to be mind bottling. People who live alone do the dishes. People who live alone do their laundry. People who live alone clean their house. Wow. So if you're not going to do it because you think it makes you feel like a housemaid, then I'll just do it alone or I'll find a woman who does want to do it. Because you're career driven. You got to the bag. You think I'm going to kick you out. So now you made all this money and now you're alone. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's just not how it goes, man. It's the same thing for men. We can't have it all. Okay. I can't have it all. I'm an average guy. Me, I'm fat. I'm short. I'm not going to get it all clearly. Okay. But let's say a guy is making a lot of money and all that kind of stuff. Even he can't have it all. Even though he's making tons of money, there's certain things he's going to have to still sacrifice to make that kind of money. There's going to be times of his life he couldn't do what he wanted to do because he had to make that kind of money. Now he may have options to pick women, but he had to sacrifice. He didn't get it all. You know what I'm saying? And he can only really, I mean, at the end of the day, you can only have one wife. You know what I'm saying? Can't have it all. Okay. And you're going to feel unfulfilled if you just go out here and start having sex with tons of women and not getting married and not building a family. Eventually, it's going to get to you. You can't have it all. Nobody can. So it is funny that women sometimes will. Um, well, let's talk black women. It's funny how sometimes 
They think they can have it all. They say that they want to be equal, right? They want to make the same amount of money as all the men do. But the problem is, if you get, if you want to make so much money, let's say you want to be making a ton of money, right? The problem starts to happen is if you're making, you want to make the same amount, but you won't date a guy who makes the same amount as you, right? Most women won't even date guys, not me, not most women. Some women will say this, right? When they get in front of a camera, they'll say, oh, well, I don't want to make, I don't want a guy who's making the same as me. He's got to make more than me. Because you won't date a guy who makes less than you. So you're fighting to make the same amount of money as a man that you would not date because he makes more than you. I'm getting the black girl clap out. You're going to get a man who makes the same amount as you, but you don't want to date him because you want him to make more, but you're complaining that y'all don't make the same amount of money. Right? Obviously, we said earlier, there's variables that go into that, but you can't have it all. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a boss chick and be a hustler and be all this and then expect to get to still get the top guys because they don't want to date boss chicks. They don't. And you're not, as a woman, going to date a guy who makes less. So you are effed if you want to go down that route. You're screwed. Unless, unless, okay, you do get one of these top guys, right? And he works 60 hours a week. 70 hours a week, and he can see you once a week at lunch. Y'all saw that one power couple. Okay, this power couple, they don't get to see each other every day. They, this is also the thing I don't understand. If you want to get out there and get all this money and make this hustle and do all this kind of stuff, but you still want a life of luxury. When he, but they still want to do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. They want to work whenever they want. They want to vacation whenever they want. They want to travel whenever they want. But you fought so hard to get a job just so you have to work. I don't get it. And we see the end results for women who make tons of money. We see it. We see them in the little, the little, the little chats where they talk and talk how men ain't this, men ain't that. I I got money and the men out here aren't good enough for me. What does that sound like? Almost every black woman that you know who's probably super successful, right? A lot of them ain't got no man. Why? Because they make so much money that they put their standards in an impossible category or they're so masculine that they're unruly. You know how, and I'm not, I met a woman who not only did she have that same masculine, I was engaged to a masculine woman. And you know what? Her mother was masculine. Her mother made more than the father and she treated him like dirt. She talked, she talked so much smack about the father of her children because he didn't make as much as she did because she decided to go on and pursue a career that made a lot of money. Right. And so she treated her husband. And I watched this, me watching this, because obviously I'm part of the family because I'm engaged to this girl. So um, it, it, was a, it was a weird situation. But nonetheless, I'm part of this family. They invited me in, whatever. And I'm watching this unfold for years. Just this man. Every day. I mean, this man is just getting belittled, 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 because she makes more. And you know what happened? Same thing happened to my fiance. Because I did not come from a wealthy family. She did, because her mother was a wealthy person. So I got to see a different dynamic. I saw my father run the home. My father didn't make a lot of money, but he made enough. But she started acting this way. She started calling, she started seeing me as a bum because I wasn't making six figures at 24 years old. Are you goofy? I'm in college. How am I supposed to be making six, six figures? I mean, this. <laughs> How am I supposed to be making six figures? And why do people think that making six figures is just something you just wake up and out of bed and do? You have to have a skill set to make that much money. And you have to do things to make that much money. You have to move up in a company. You have to get a certain degree. Not in all cases, but if you don't get a degree, you're going to have to still work hard, get experience, and move up in these things. Okay? It's, it'd be nice if you could just hop on YouTube and bloop, blow up and you're making six figures. That ain't reality for the vast majority of people are never going to make six figures on YouTube. The vast majority of people will never make that. And people aren't going to be making six figures in their 20s. Statistically, it is not the norm. 
So she's calling me a bum. I feel like a bum because I'm in my twenties and I've been taught the same stuff that this guy's talking about. Well, maybe she's got this and I got to treat her like a queen. I got to put her way up here to make her feel so great. Goofball. Dummy. Stupid. I, I'm going to say something embarrassing that I did. I went to a private college, guys. Private college. And it's, I mean, a great college. The best college. Well, I think it was, well, it wasn't the best college. It was the top five college in engineering. Top 10 uh, school overall. Top five in engineering. Top 10 overall in my state. And very expensive. I think it was $50,000 a year to go to. I got in on a full scholarship, free ride. I gave all that up for this girl because I'm stupid. Stupid. Honors college. Living the life. President of the powerlifting team. I was the lead, whatever you call the, whatever the college kids when they go to the game. Everybody has a different name for it, but I think we would just call it some, something random. I was leading that. And I gave all that up for a woman. Because I wanted to treat her like a queen. I wanted to show her I was ride or die. So I went to, a, I went to her college. And you know what happened? My GPA started all the way back over. And I had to grind all the way back up again. Here I am now. Three point, I think I have a 3.2 GPA now. Right? But it cratered. It cratered bad. <sighs> I could have easily used that kind of stuff to go into my now marriage. Afraid. Scared. That she was going to leave. I could have been fearful. A fool. But I didn't go into marriage like that. I, I, I'm fully aware that at any moment... She could turn on me. Any moment she could cheat. Any moment she could divorce me. Any moment, yeah, I could lose my house. Yeah, I could, she could get half of everything. Right? Who knows what can happen? That is a part of life. But I would never teach that to young men. I would never say, hey, go, 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 go into it knowing she could still have your money. It's, damn, I mean, that's life. Sacrifice. Sucks. I'm not here to say it wouldn't suck. I got my heart broken. I, I got screwed over in a relationship. Because you know what? She let <laughs> That girl that, that I was engaged to who said I was a bum, she she got married to a guy who doesn't make that much. And then it, it went south. I'm not going to get too much into her business. But just know it didn't go well. Right? But she ended up getting married to a whole other guy. And now she's not in a relationship anymore. Right? That could happen to me too. It's life. All I'm saying is what she was so afraid that was going to happen with me happened anyway. She tried to avoid something that happened anyway. And now she's out here on her hustle getting her money. Ain't going to work. Because the more money she makes, the higher, the higher guy she's going to want, the higher guy that's not going to want to date her because she's too masculine. She just is. Hard to deal with. So, I know this was a long talk. All I'm saying is, does you make way? Please don't go out here giving into this nonsense that because you saw a video of a black woman getting kicked out of her house, that's why black women have the mindset to go hustle and get to the bag. That's not true. We know that's not true. You're doing the whole color purple, the stupid Tyler Perry movies kind of dumb making black people like making black men always look like trash until some random black guy comes along who happens to be super nice and super kind comes along and sweeps her off her feet no black women would do that without having to see that and i wanted to i wanted us to read the comments before i go i wanted to show y'all the comments on this video and this is what i'm talking about let's go to the comments My father always told us 
always have your own because a madman will put you out and a jealous man will hurt you. He wants us to be treated like a queen without treating his woman like a queen. That's real talk. Just breaks my heart to see that bat, that little, that little bo that little baby boy hanging on her. That's why so many black women raising kids by themselves. That's garbage. This is a black man right here raising his kid. And she said in a video of his, oh, that's why, that's why, that's why black men, that's why black men, I mean, black women are always fighting for themselves. You see what I'm saying? And he, and he is a black man with a child. Make it make sense. Men need to be this, men need to disown men. We got a black knight here. Men need to disown men who abuse women. That's why the only way it will become taboo. It is taboo, Goofy. It's already taboo. Men don't accept abusive men. It's not a normal thing. And the video just says, all because she asked why he come home late. That's not even, pro we don't know. That's, that's, that, I almost guarantee you that's not what happened. But oh, let the woman tell you. And we just went off the situation, assuming she's right. Let's read a few more. If an independent woman makes you her king, it's because she wants to be with you, not because she needs to be with you. See, that's the kind of bull. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, guys. It's the same goofy logic we've been hearing for years. Once you've had a relationship like that, you'll never want to go back. I've seen this happen face to face many times. No, you haven't, Goofy. If you have, if you've seen that happen many times, you need you live in a awful, awful, awful random neighborhood because that kind of stuff isn't an everyday thing. I've seen uh, and let's read it a couple more. I have a cousin who came to my house, had her three beautiful babies. You notice this is all the anyway. With her in the middle of the night because her husband of 10 years out of high school in the middle of the night wanted to kick her out. My cousin was crying so bad she was red and soaked. Her whole shirt tears. Man, that's just a... And here we go. Right at the end. Old girl owns her own real estate business in Atlanta and lives in a mini mansion. Whoa! <laughs> Clap it up, boys. <sighs> and she's probably single. And alone. I'm just a saying. I'm just giving it to you. And y'all can see the other comments if you want to. Guys, <laughs> you hear all the goofy stuff? And it's, and it's ironic that people are saying that kind of stuff when he himself is a black man with a child. So the stuff that they're saying, dude, they're talking about you too. They're pretty much saying you're going to walk out on your child eventually. Would they be wrong if they said that about you, Shoemake? If they said that you, even though you probably, I, mean, I don't know if you're married, but if you've got a wife, would they be wrong in saying that she should not trust you because at any moment you could kick her out? Should, would they be right? And if you think that you should, you yourself should not be trusted, you're a joke. At the end of the day, you're a joke. You're an absolute joke. I'm so sick of all these people always talking down on the black men because the vast majority of black men don't even have kids. Not the vast majority, but the majority of black men don't even have children and 30% of that and the other thirty percent, they're married. So that's what eighty four four eighty four percent of men are married or childless. So what's this concept of black men just walking out? Because it's a disgrace to me. I was there for my son, my father. He was there for his kids. <laughs> my father raised me all the way up, but have my father have? <laughs> Y'all, I didn't even want to go there. I'm gonna that's my father's business. But nonetheless, my father raised me. He raised my brother. He raised my sister. Every one of us went to college. Every one of us went to college. Every one of us owned a home. Every one of us graduated high school. 
we we all became parents, right? So what's this concept of black parent guys are just walking out? Because every time we see a black man, every time we tell y'all this, that black men aren't leaving their kids at an exceptional rate, black women are just sleeping with certain men, and then they may do something to leave the relationship because 80% of divorces are filed by who? The women. They keep saying black men are the reason our culture is destroyed, but it's not true. Now, do black men have something, some part to play in it? Yes. Because the black teenagers are running goofy in like Chicago and Memphis and places like that. But to say black women are just, <laughs> no, the, the men were just beating us down is, is an absolute travesty. Because those black men are not walking around every single day having babies and just leaving. And, and it's not, I don't, I, I would love to tell y'all that that's white people saying that, but I don't even hear that. And I grew up in an all white town. You know who I hear that from more than anybody? Baby mothers. That's all I ever hear that from. Baby mamas, single, alone, black women are the only women I ever hear say, well, father, just leave the home. <laughs> Boy, I've seen both sides. Yeah, if y'all know my backstory, if you don't, oh well. But you know my backstory. So I'm not only seeing two black people, man and woman, get along, be married for over 30 years, and I've seen the other side, where the black woman blames the black man for everything, while her life is completely an absolute joke, and everything I see this woman do is her own doing. Uh, now, I'm not sure, like I said, there are obviously great black women out there. But let's not turn the tables on black men to say that we're the problem. I hate that. I hate that. Some of the worst people, and I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. The worst people I've ever met in my life are black women. Because they, this narrative, they build up so much bitterness and they just go out of their way. Go watch, be real, go watch some black story times. Go watch Black Story Times, okay? If you've never been around black people like that, oh, I have, and they are vicious. Not all of them, obviously, but a lot of them are. But obviously, that depends on where you go, okay? Obviously, if you're in a prestigious town where there's less of them, you know, and there's more professionals, then you're not going to come across them. But please, go watch Black Story Times. I want you to hear how they talk about black men. They're quick to, they're quick to call us niggas. Dirty niggas, dusty niggas, 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 niggas. That's all we are. All these dang black story times I've seen. Oh, this nigga tried to holler at me. This nigga was dusty. Oh, this nigga tried to holler at me. I was not giving that nigga nothing. It's rare that you ever even hear them say anything positive about a black man, unless it's their boyfriend. And he'll be a nigga in a couple years. Because <laughs> these women don't tend to get married, like I told you. Now, there is a few story times out there that I've seen with black women and they tell great stories and they're they're honest and they're not just constantly beating down on black men. But that's the majority of these women, man, when they get a chance to talk about black men, it's just niggas, 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 niggas. Dang, I don't even hear the white women talk about us like that bad. God dang. I don't even hear the white women calling us niggas that much. <laughs> God, no. I swear the black women hate us more. It's white supremacy. What about blacks? <laughs> Let me stop. Anyway, I know that was a long talk, but I had a lot to get off my chest, man. Y'all know I normally don't go here. I don't make a lot of videos, okay, on this kind of stuff. Because I want to say this because I always find it also funny when the people are like, why are you always bashing black women? How many videos do y'all see of me making videos of black women? I rarely ever talk about women in my videos. I don't anymore. I did in the very beginning. Well, not the very, very beginning. My very first few videos were about obesity, but I don't have a ton. Like every video I make is about how terrible the women are. I'm actually not even mad at the women in this video. I am upset with Shoemake because he's a black man tearing down the black man. He just gives them a fire. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Before we go, I wanted to say this one last thing because I want to actually see my last few videos. Oh Why is that my video?
Just so we can see. <clears throat> All right, so my last video, and y'all can see I don't even get that many views. So I'm a small little channel, making it. AI is for women. We talked about that a few weeks ago, but I just now uploaded it. This video is about that troll who came in here talking about black people. This is about me being sober. This is me talking about taste uh, stays, stays high. That's another, that's a man. Having sex makes you a mindless slave. That's a video about men. Jaden Smith, man. John Morant, Doja Cat, um, Sam Smith, and Jojo Siwa. Quick thoughts on racism. Another video about the men. Oh, another video about pornography. This is another video for the men. Anxiety. Some people build my faith. This is about church. This, this video is me going against men. The Red Pill podcasts are annoying. In this video, I'm fat. That's about me. Why I quit listening to music. So this concept that people may say that I... Go after black women in every video I make. What's the last video you see that I'm, I'm targeting just black women? Because this woman's not black. Uh, jo Doja Cat, I don't even know what she is, but Jojo Siwa is not black. Sam Smith is not a black woman. Okay? So uh, I don't want to hear any of this, oh, I just hate black women when I'm not even making videos about black women. Okay? This is, I think this is the last video I made about black women. Princess Diana and Nicki Minaj. And this is not about black women. This video is about Nicki Minaj, who just happens to be black. And this video is about, hey, go check this one out. Hip Hop Gives Us Fake Power. That is an interesting video. Go check that out. Also, check out Dangon Ropa. I know this video doesn't look that good, but trust me, this Dangon Ropa video, fire. You know, I have to plug myself. You know, I got to do what I got to do. You know what I got to do what I got to do. Anyway, that's the video. 37 minutes, probably turning into 38 minutes. I'm just saying. Shoemake, chill. Chill.